Have you ever thought about the true scale of atoms? Probably not, but if you have, it was likely the size of atoms compared to other objects. Atoms are incredibly tiny, and that by themselves is a pretty cool thing to think about. But what if we scaled up an atom and looked at it? How would the nucleus relate to the electrons? For simplicity's sake, let's look at a hydrogen atom, one proton and one electron. When we visualize atoms, we use the very simplified planetary model with a nucleus orbited by electrons. However, this is not very accurate. The electrons don't so much orbit as exist in proximity to the nucleus in a fuzzy cloud. As we can't accurately determine the position of electrons, we think of them as shells, regions in which we know the electrons are, just not where they are exactly within the shell. Now then, let's look at our hydrogen atom's nucleus, then pull back until we can see the full electron shell. Keep in mind, in this model, the electron would actually be microscopic compared to the nucleus. The nucleus makes up less than 0.01% of the total volume of the atom, yet accounts for over 99% of its mass. Another way to visualize this is if the nucleus was the size of a pea on the center of an American football field, the electron shell would be the size of the entire stadium. In a very real sense, normal matter is mostly empty space, including you and me. When you touch something and it feels solid, you aren't feeling your atoms directly touching the atoms of the other object, you are feeling the electromagnetic force of the electron shells repelling each other. So with that, I'll leave you something else to think about. The universe is a very empty place after all. <laughs>